Hello, travel friends and painting friends. It's me, Stoof. It's National Park Week, and I wanted to create a video showing you some of my paintings inspired by some of my favorite moments in our national parks. I couldn't decide if this should go on my painting channel or my travel channel on YouTube, so I'm putting it on both. So sorry if you don't like art, sorry if you don't like travel. They're both a big part of me, and that's why I wanted to share this with all of you guys. So uh, without further ado, let's see some of my paintings, and I'm going to talk about some of my favorite moments in our national parks. Oh, and while you're here, hit the subscribe button, and please leave a comment letting me know your favorite experience in our national parks, because I love hearing about your stories as well. Okay, my first painting here is Autumn Morning in Acadia. This was a really peaceful painting inspired by the sunrise at Cadillac Mountain in Acadia National Park in Maine. Good morning. It's 3 a.m. and we're waiting to watch the sunrise from Cadillac Mountain. Nate and I went to watch the sunrise. We got there probably like an hour before sunrise so we could still get a parking spot. This was before they started the um, permits for parking up at Cadillac Mountain. It was really peaceful, but still pretty crowded. There were a lot of people there watching the sunrise. Uh, so after the sun rose, we were walking back to the car and I could just see all of the beautiful warmth in the autumn colors uh, as the sun was touching them, just looking out along the coastline. And I knew I had to paint that. So I painted that, that painting already sold. Next is my painting of Navajo Arch in Arches National Park in Utah. This painting uh, was something I wanted to create because it was a different arch in Arches National Park. Most of the arches are like out and easy to spot in public. Uh, there's obviously like the big arch made out of the rock and then usually there's like a viewpoint behind it. They're usually pretty big and obvious like the named ones um, but this one is like kind of tucked away back behind other units of rock where it had like weathered away in between them uh, so i really wanted to paint this one there was something really spiritual and uh, peaceful and like felt like a little hidden gem uh, about it so i wanted to paint that one Next is Compliments of Sunset Point. This painting's still available. This is one of my favorite paintings I created from Bryce Canyon National Park in Utah. Bryce is such a unique park. Like the hoodoos are what they call them. They're just sedimentary rock that uh, the rain and uh, wind just eroded it down and created what's left are called hoodoos. Uh, and the hoodoos, a bunch of them are named because they look like something else. There's like Thor's hammer is one of them, I remember. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool to walk around and see all of those things. So I wanted to paint that. It is such a beautiful park in the spring when there's still snow on the ground. And the reason I titled it Compliments of Sunset Point is because complementary colors are here. So uh, in the snow, we have the cool blues and purples from the shadows and the snow. And then in the rock, we have this vivid, like orange, warmish, reddish, yellow colors. Uh, so those colors kind of complement each other and really draw you in. And it's just such a beautiful scene. Next is morning light on Grand Teton. I could paint the Tetons every day. I love the Tetons. They're such beautiful mountains and a lot of artists like to paint them. A lot of artists uh, have their work up in galleries in Jackson right near the Tetons National Park. Um, but yeah, I love hiking around there. It, everywhere you look is inspiring for painting material in the Tetons. Next is Canyonland Sunset. This is one of my most memorable experiences in a national park. We were in Canyonlands National Park in Utah, Nate and I, and we had just finished a long day uh, hiking around, visiting different parts of the park. And then at evening, right before sunset, we went over to this viewpoint and you could see the mountains in the distance and the moon was rising up over the mountains as the sun was setting back behind us. And it was just such a cool thing to see the moon coming up as the sun's going down and the colors are constantly changing in front of you. As the sun is setting, you can see the shadows rising up. And again, you get those awesome complementary colors with the shadows having like purples and blues and the rocks themselves have more like orange and reddish hues. So 
yeah, very exciting painting material and really cool moment to witness in person. All right, this one is driftwood and shell sculpture. I created this painting after visiting Dry Tortugas National Park in Florida, which is a park that not very many people go to because it's small and it's pretty hard to get to. It's off the coast of Key West and really the only ways you can get to it are by seaplane, which is how we did it, uh, or by taking the commercial boat that'll take you over there, uh, which is still a pretty expensive boat ride, uh, or if you have your own boat and you uh, want to take your own boat out there. Um, but it's pretty deserted once you're there on the island. It's never really like that crowded. There's a, a fort there so you can walk around the fort and there's also a stretch of beach. So when Nate and I were walking up the stretch of beach, we saw people had uh, picked up some conch shells and placed them on pieces of driftwood. And it was like a really cool little piece of art that different people were putting together. Usually when I go to national parks and I see like those uh, stacked up stones and stuff, I forget what those are called. Um, if it's not a trail marker, if people are just doing that, like usually you kind of knock it down cause it's not like kind of distracts and takes away from the nature. Um, but in this situation, there was like nothing else on the island and I thought that was really beautiful. So I wanted to paint that. Uh, next is Iceberg Lake. This is in Glacier National Park, Montana. This is probably one of my top three national parks. I love Glacier National Park. It's just beautiful everywhere you look. Again, um, there's also like a sense of, uh, danger, I guess, with the grizzly bears. <laughs> this hiking trail to Iceberg Lake was the first grizzly bear encounter we ever had in the wild as well. Uh, and I just kind of panicked mentally, internally, but didn't really show it on the outside. And Nate uh, was just like instantly grabbed his bear spray and was ready just in case. Uh, the grizzly was, it was probably like a football field away to start. And then it started walking closer to us and we were, um, at Iceberg Lake having our lunch. And so it's like a big uh, cirque, like glacial feature filled in with water for the lake. Uh, so there's not really anywhere for us to go. We couldn't, we could go in the water and that's about it. Uh, so we were kind of stuck there uh, in between a corner and a bear. So <laughs> the uh, luckily the bear, after we started walking towards us a little bit, like just decided to go off the other direction. So everything was fine there. But yeah, hearts were beating really quick when that was happening. <laughs> I'll always remember that too. Next is Misty Morning at Mount Rainier. Mount Rainier is definitely also in my top three national parks. It's pretty beautiful. Uh, I went to Mount Rainier for the first time last summer in 2022 and my jaw just dropped. Like people say that about the Tetons, but that was just like on a whole nother level when I saw Mount Rainier for the first time. But just like, like that mountain is insanely huge. And the first time we were there, like the first few days we were there, we didn't even see the mountain because it's in the clouds so much. <laughs> um, but when the clear day finally came, it was jaw dropping amazing. Uh, we did some awesome hikes at Mount Rainier. I wish that I could have spent an entire summer there. It is phenomenally beautiful. And I highly recommend going to Mount Rainier if you can. My next painting is Shenandoah Sunset. This is inspired by a sunset in uh, autumn time at Shenandoah National Park in Virginia. Uh, this painting was a tricky one for me to create because when I visited this location in person, it was an overcast uh, day with no, like no sunlight or anything. Uh, so what I had to do for this painting was merge a different photo that I had of a sunset sky. And then I had to make adjustments to the foreground and all of the land to make it seem like light was actually like piercing through at that angle on the leaves and plants and brightening things up uh, and casting shadows in other spots. So I had to completely rearrange the lighting in that painting uh, to make it read as an accurate landscape that you're looking at. Okay, we have two more that I wanted to share with you. I've been to a lot more parks and I have so many more paintings I want to make, but this is what I had for this video that I put together for you guys. Uh, so next is Yellowstone Majesty, and this is a painting of Lower Yellowstone Falls in Yellowstone National Park. This is such an incredible park as well. This is Nate's favorite national park. It doesn't make my favorite list because some of those other ones just really speak to my heart with the mountains and the scenery. I absolutely love Yellowstone, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. I think what takes Yellowstone away 
uh, from my favorite list is how crowded it is. Um, and I know there are parts of Yellowstone, particularly the backcountry, that are not crowded at all, um, which I need to see more of. But for the things that I have seen in Yellowstone, obviously from a geological standpoint, it's incredible as well. But yeah, it's not, it's not on my absolute top favorite list. Uh, but that was a beautiful waterfall. I had to paint it. I put a lot of detail into that painting. Uh, that's one of my favorite paintings. Last, but certainly not least, is my painting of Angel's Landing in Zion National Park. This is the biggest painting I ever made. This is uh, four feet by five feet, and I put a decent amount of detail into it. Uh, I put that it's sort of available right now. I haven't advertised the completed painting much yet um, because I don't really know if it's completed. At a painting of that scale, I feel like there's so much more detail I can add to certain areas, um, but at the same time, it reads accurately like it's completed and I don't want to overdo it uh, so I'm not sure if that one's done yet uh, but anyway this is a view from the uh, start of the hike to Angel's Landing which if you've done the Angel's Landing hike it's a phenomenal hike uh, they recently started a permit system for Angel's Landing because it was getting way too crowded up there on the cable section um, which I think is a good thing that they put that in uh, if you do get the chance to hike Angel's Landing, have an awesome time and be careful. Uh, it's definitely not the safest hike, uh, but it is stunning and amazing. I wanted to create this painting of the uh, first part of that hike because you can see the sunlight in the morning just lighting up the top of Angel's Landing there. And I liked how the foreground was still in shadow in that canyon area. Uh, so this is just a really nice painting that helps me remember all of my wonderful times in Zion Canyon. Okay guys, those are the paintings I wanted to share with you today. Like I said, I have a lot of other paintings of national parks. I just wanted to keep it short and sweet for you guys. Uh, I hope you have a great national park week. If you're visiting any national parks this week, have a great time, stay safe and respect the parks and the nature and the people you see there. And uh, have a great day and thanks for watching. If you're interested in any of these original paintings, I have these and more on my website, stephmaracafineart.com. I have a link for that in the description under this video. I also have prints of all of these paintings and more. Uh, if you would like a link to prints, I will have that in the description under this video as well. Have a great day, guys. Happy travels if you're traveling and happy painting if you are an artist as well. Bye-bye.